What's up, YouTube? It's C Rob. In this video, I'll be showing y'all five things I hate about my BMW 6 Series. And these aren't things I necessarily hate about my car because I love absolutely everything about my car. These are things that I can go without or prefer that was different. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get to it. First on the list will have to be the chrome window trim. It doesn't look bad, but I personally prefer that blacked out look. So I will be blacking that out along with the rear reflectors, the door trim, the side reflectors, front reflectors, the bumper trim, and I will be replacing my chrome kidney grills for a blacked out kidney grill. Second thing will have to be the factory tint, which is basically no tint at all. And the reason I hate it is because there's no privacy whatsoever. You can see everything inside from every angle, regardless if you're walking up next to it or if you happen to be pulling up next to it at the red light. And another reason I hate it is because if it's a hot sunny day, you're gonna feel every bit of heat that comes through the window. Third thing will have to be the push and start. Y'all probably wonder, well, why is push and start something that I hate? And reason being, not only do I have to put my foot on the brake, but I have to take the key fob and put it on the steering column where the key symbol is and then crank it. And although it is something minor, I would love to be able to just hop in the car, put my foot on the brake, hit the start button and crank it up. But you know. Oh, it is what it is. Fourth thing has to be this auto cutoff switch right here. And what it does is if the car stops for a long period of time, it automatically cuts the engine off. And I know they're starting to put this in most newer cars, but me personally, I want to save gas. I just put my car in eco mode. And besides, I don't want my car cutting on and off at any point in time while I'm driving it. So this feature for me is pointless. Fifth and final thing that I hate about my BMW 6 Series is the fact that it doesn't come with a remote start. You will automatically assume that it has it, but it don't. I'm pretty sure that BMW has changed that for its newer model cars. And I may or may not install an aftermarket remote start kit in the future. These cars do come with a lot of electrical components compared to most other cars. So I don't want to risk any maintenance issues in the future. So that's something I have to consider. All right, YouTube. I showed y'all the five things I hate about my BMW 6 Series. Make sure y'all stay tuned because I will be showing y'all the five things I love about my BMW 6 Series. I'm getting my tent done really soon. And after that, I'm changing up my grill. So like I promised y'all, I got a lot of content on the way. So y'all already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, y'all be blessed.